This is the 2017 Chrysler Pacifica Limited. It's powered by a 3.6 litre V6 DOHC, whatever that means. It produces an astonishing 287 horsepower, which means absolutely nothing because this is clearly not a sports car. It's got five doors and seven seats. It's also got traction control, driver assist, auto adjusting headlights, a start button, and a beautiful LED touchscreen display. You won't get laid driving this car because chances are that's already happened and you're now transporting a small army of children. This is, however, a great family car and probably the best people mover on the market. Davis Dodge Fort McLeod makes sure we're always in the best rides and our friends at Mint Smart Wash always make sure we're clean, dry and shiny in five minutes or less. Today, we're picking up Mark Maxwell and Jordan Caruso. These two stubborn young men caught our attention when they started talking about their technology startup, and the ride got very interesting when they switched gears and put their other talents to work. So buckle up, you're watching Ride Car Superstar. Oh, it's cold today. All right, I think we're, uh up Jordan and Mark. Take me for a quick drive in Lightbridge. Here they are. Yeah, the doors for them. There we go. Hey guys. How's, How's it going? going? Yeah, really good. It's uh, chilly out there, isn't it? Still. Good old Canada. Oh yeah. yes. Got uh, plenty of room back there as well. Oh yeah. This is yeah. A spanky ass man. I don't know about. Uh, getting late in this thing, but uh, <laughs> it's good on mileage. It's uh, nice. good rise, yeah. So um, I think we're taking you to, is it Johnny Bean Cafe? I'm yes, correct. Great. You know, we've, um, I haven't been driving for long, but it seems to be a pretty popular place in town that uh, everyone, everyone's uh, moved away from, you know, doing the, the Starbucks and Tim Hortons thing. Yeah, Johnny Bean, I know for us, it's it's home. Really? Yeah, it's best, best coffee in town. Yeah, you know, actually, I've got um, a few friends in business, and and they, what they say, it's just a really good place for collaboration and uh, you know meeting other people in business and yeah, get... we've met so many new people. Yeah, so many, I guess, good friends now. Okay, and, and just from like so many different areas, like yeah. whether it be business, music, art, like everything, it's amazing. Pretty it's awesome. A, it, it is a huge creative hub. Yeah. Right. So I, I mean, like, I gotta ask, what what keeps you busy in Lethbridge? It's uh, Pretty, pretty innovative place. Yeah. Um, are you, uh, are you, are you students? Are you, uh... uh, we're actually, we're entrepreneurs. We're working on starting up a business right now. Fantastic. And What's, uh... also musicians. Musicians first. Yeah. Wow. Musicians first. Yeah. <laughs> musicians first. That's yeah. great. Well, you've suddenly got a full plate there. I mean, do you guys sleep? <laughs> no, no, not, not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, great. Okay. Well, um, Holy, what's that? Is that's uh, that's not a flute bag? <laughs> <laughs> no, good no. old six string. Really? I wish I had a flute in there, but I, well, I, 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 I'd, I'd be doing an injustice if I didn't ask to, uh, you know, listen to some of the music you play. But we maybe leave that for the uh, the end of the trip. Okay. But, uh, what? Uh, yeah. What? What type of genre do you play? Oh, that's always a tough one. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna call myself like pop rock with maybe a little bit of like classic e-rock style wow okay kind of a mixture so if you were to say is that like a, a john Mayer versus crossed with a something or am, am i, I am like, i too old am i off kind off of classic the like classic queen okay mixed with wow like a modern uh, a modern pop i guess yeah, yeah. Mixed well i'm no, actually you're I'm, not too old i'm gonna be john rude. Mayer. yes <laughs> he is a living <laughs> legend a living legend okay i'll uh, I, I'll, I will take your word for that <laughs> <laughs> great well, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to ask to hear some of your uh, some of your tunes okay. there. But tell me more about your uh, the, the other business. So you're uh, you're you know, young entrepreneurs. Are you working in in tech space? Tell me tell me more about that. Do you want to go or do you want me to go? <laughs> yeah. you, you cover the tech side. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll cover some of the ideas a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. we're working on starting like an online retail store or okay. marketplace. Great. And it's it's kind of like an all around lifestyle outfitter. Mm -hmm. and it's sort of tailored towards young creatives looking to express themselves so okay. whether it be through clothing through like home and furniture through all kinds of stuff wow yeah you know it's uh, it's really interesting watching the the 
the way people buy things online now, and it's not just yeah. Amazon. I mean, even the explosion of Wayfair and uh, is it Wayfair or Mayfair? I, I get Wayfair. confused. Wayfair, yeah. well, it is Wayfair. They yeah. don't, they're not paying for a product placement spot here, so we can uh, we can butcher their name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, people are looking for. Uh, unique products they're yeah. not looking for you know commodity things you can find in Costco or and so on but yeah okay so um are you sourcing the products locally or is it right now we're, we've got a few different areas we're sourcing from a lot of them are from in the states okay and then we've got a few from Asia and stuff but we really want to move into into working with some really cool independent that's amazing names and stuff so we, yeah. we want to bring real high quality yeah, yeah to online retail. Tell me about a, f a few of the things I can buy on your, it's an online store, right? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. So uh, yeah, t tell me more about the things I can buy. Yeah, so I mean clothing, um, like clothing of any type fits your entire body. Yeah. Uh, we've got men's grooming, women's beauty stuff. Oh, fantastic. We've got furniture, home decor. Okay. And then kind of just like cool little lifestyle things. Like one thing we really want to work towards is getting like some kind of cool lifestyle instruments, like okay. some travel guitars and stuff. Oh wow. It's sort of, it's sort of our lifestyle mm -hmm. put into a website, and we're yeah. hoping well, people enjoy that. Great. We want to we want to build a community too. Yeah. yeah. An online community. That's a big thing that I know I've personally found with online retail is mm -hmm. it's with all of the AI and stuff these days. There's a lot of predictive sales. Right. Yeah. And people like that, but mm -hmm. people also feel disconnected. It's like, okay, well, you're targeting me. You know what I want to buy, but right. there's not a community. Like there's not a sharing in the experience of what you're buying and, okay. and how you're using it. And yeah. For us, that was a that's that's a big hole that yeah. we want to fill. We're gonna help some of the viewers here. We'll uh, we'll put some pop-ups of of you know your website and, and I'll get the name of that too. Cool. And uh, I I guess the most important question is is there a, a different is there a unique experience as opposed to shopping on the Amazons and some of the big box uh, uh, stores? <laughs> so a big thing that we want to do like. We're looking into a lot of really cool innovative technology right, right now. So to make to make the shopping process a little more personal and a little more intuitive, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then it's like in our mind, being creatives, it's all about the photos, it's all about the experience and yep. really creating a website people can connect with and say like, I, I see myself wearing that or I see myself yeah. on my couch. Like I, that's, that can go in my house. It's really creating that visual experience. Well, so. and actually, I, to, yeah. to cover a little bit more of the tech really quickly to talk about a different experience and what big retailers are doing now. Mm -hmm. As quickly as we can facilitate it, we want to uh, we want to use the augmented reality movement that's coming. Okay. So you'd be able to have a system on your phone or your desktop where you can actually measure yourself mm -hmm. and know exactly what size of item to get. Fantastic. Or if you're purchasing a couch, let's say, yep. you can actually put the couch in the space that you want to put it okay. and see how it would fit. So Amazing. it definitely cuts back on returns and just makes the customer experience that much better. So do you guys come from a tech background or is this something that you guys learned and, and, and picked up along the way? How did, how, how this did you has just kind of been like months and months of grinding I'm, away I'm and learning. blown away. It sounds like you guys have come pretty far as well. Well, yeah. I mean, we grew up in a business-based family. Okay. Business, business and music. That was Fantastic. always the two things we grew up around. Yeah. And so we had a lot of exposure to it, but it was always more like classic business. Okay. Like brick and mortar and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then we just got researching one day, and I'm not even sure how we stumbled across it, but the idea of starting an online retail store. It's like, okay, this is another way we can express ourselves. Fantastic. And ever since then, it's been day in day out slamming our heads against the table trying to learn stuff and yep. implement it but yeah. well and like when you look at when you go and you read like uh market articles yep. on how consumers are buying things the biggest movement that large retailers are having right now is keeping the authenticity mm -hmm. so what buyers want to know that the people they're buying from mm -hmm. are real people right and so that that is the number one way we look at business yep. and music is say okay like what is like how are we going to do us okay because that's all we can do we can't do anything other than just us exactly well I mean we're uh, I, I I would I would love to be able to share with uh, with our viewers the name of your website and 
as the website launched yet, or is it uh, is no, it still in development? It's still in the works. We're a few weeks out. Oh, fantastic! But the website's called dwellandgray.com. Dwellandgray.com. Yep. We're going to put the ticker in there and uh, make sure everyone can check out the website when you guys cool. launch. Cool, cool. We'll uh, we'll do a follow up as well when when the website's launched. We'll, uh, awesome. we'll make sure we're part of the launch party too. Well, I I mean I, I think you've teased us enough. Uh, looking at this uh, we guitar that you've got. Hey, if you um, if you're up for it, I'd uh, I, I think I, I think I wouldn't complain about that. It's a scene of you. There we go. Okay. Wow. We good to go? Oh yeah. All right. Well, this is an original tune of mine. Uh, it's called the Drifter. You can uh, check it out on YouTube. to that again I mean we, I, George I mean I guess tell tell your story really quick I, like I you can go find my stuff on YouTube I got a couple songs that yeah. song is on there uh, dude that is so impressive I, I, I've got to say I, I, this has never happened in a lift ride for me this is a this is a, this is the first I'm speechless I feel like uh, I'm, I'm starstruck here actually well, this, is, this is cool too I've never had a lift uh, yeah. a lift ride yeah. that me to sing, so dude, I, I'm so impressed that is absolute magic thank yeah. you thank you and out of Lethbridge, Alberta, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, speechless. Cool, thanks. Okay, I'm also gonna do an original. This is one that we wrote together, and we've only got, we've only got half of it done. Okay. But I'll give you that half. Wow. Let's get my laptop out of the way. <laughs> what room going? Yeah, put the tech side away, bring out the musician <laughs> yeah. side. Whoa. Redo. <laughs> No more, do this no more. Yeah, there's things I missed. Girl, I'm sorry, but I can't be the man you want me to be. You want me to be. Got tears in your eyes, I can see it on your face. Come on, girl, this love ain't working. All the cussing, all the fighting's just time I'm gonna waste. And that's about all we got. Wow. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan, my, I'm. So Look, I gotta say, man, I am so glad I got to meet you too. It's uh, this has been an honor. I can see that uh, we've got Johnny Bean here on the left-hand side. Um, guys, you've got two of the best young dudes in Lethbridge, Alberta. Uh, we're gonna ask, check out dwellandgray.com. Yeah. Yes. And you can listen to their music on Facebook, Instagram. I'll make sure I put up their handles on the screen. For sure. Uh, guys, this is this has been. And on it, you've, you've made my day. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna just double around and get you right at the front here. Awesome. I, uh, yeah. So, I mean, what, what's next for you two? I mean, obviously you're, you're young, you're entrepreneurial, you're driven. What's, the, what's next for you two? The next step is uh, school in January. Okay. In Los Angeles. Yeah. 
attending uh, Musicians Institute. That is the goal. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, that's that's not far. That's coming right up, I guess. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, are, you, are you doing traveling? Do you do you tour with music, or are you? Um... Not not yet. It's okay. looking for the right opportunities. I know uh, last year went to Nashville and got to showcase there. Okay. And uh, you know, some powerful people got to hear some of our songs, and and they liked them. Yeah. And so we're we're working with that opportunity right now, and hopefully we'll be able to further that relationship. Yeah. For me, it's like I'm. I'm pretty new to actually performing. Like I was into more so the production side and yeah. production and engineering, but so now I'm kind of decided to pursue my own music career too. So that's yeah. amazing. We're that's the that's where we're going. Yeah. Well, guys, I got to say it's been an absolute pleasure meeting both of you. And uh, Donny Beans across the road, so awesome. I um, unfortunately have to part ways. But it's been great meeting you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Mark. Nice meeting you as well. Pleasure, man. Best of luck. I can't. Uh, yeah, can't wait to to watch these guys' journey unfold. Uh, this has just made my day, I'm speechless. Awesome. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll get the, the doors open for you as well. Awesome. Thanks. Grab this case. Grab <laughs> Have a good one. Have a good you one. You too. Cheers. Wow. <laughs>